Top 5 Real Hidden Treasures You Can Still Find Number 5. The treasure map in the Dead Sea Scrolls, Israel The Dead Sea Scrolls are considered the greatest historical discovery of the past century due to their tremendous value to religion and linguistics. Located at the west of the northern tip of the Dead Sea is the Qumran archaeological site on a desert plateau carved by ravines are the caves where the famous Dead Sea Scrolls were initially discovered by Bedouin in 1946. A rare find was discovered on the 14th March in 1952 at the back of Cave 3, somewhat separate from the other finds. The scroll was badly oxidized and fragile to touch, but it was obvious that it was different from the other leather and paper scrolls. It was a detailed list of 64 locations where significant amounts of gold and silver had been hidden. The only problem with all of the locations is that they read as though you should know the locations and be familiar with 4th century BC Israel. For example, item 3. In the funeral shrine in the third row of stones, 100 gold ingots. Item 5. In the ascent of the staircase of refugee to the left hand side, 3 cubits up from the floor are 40 talents of silver. A metal detector could really pay off in Israel. Number 4. The Secret City of Paititi Most people have heard the story of El Dorado, a city full of gold lost somewhere in the rainforest of South America. The Spanish had been at war with the Incas of Peru for nearly 40 years, and the Incas had retreated to Vilcabamba Valley where they had held off the invaders until 1572. When the Spanish conquered the Incas, they found the city largely deserted. It appeared as if the Incas had fled to a new location in the rainforest of southern Brazil, taking their vast treasures of gold with them. The new city was never found, nor was the gold, and eventually the story was relegated to the status of a myth. A 2009 satellite photo recently discovered a large deforested area that revealed that there was once vast settlements, reviving the idea that the Paititi really existed and there could be a mass of gold awaiting to be discovered. Number 3. Nazi Gold Train the construction of the honeycomb of tunnels, bunkers, and underground stations began in 1941 and stretched from the Gothic castle of Kazayas, overlooking the town of Walbachek deep inside the surrounding mountains. In the Gold Train case, Nazi forces sent 24 freight carriages from Budapest towards Germany filled with family treasures including up to 300 tons of gold, some silver, and valuable paintings seized from Hungarian Jews estimated to be worth as much as 4 billion US dollars by some experts. According to Polish lore, a Nazi train loaded with gold and weapons vanished into a mountain at the end of the Second World War. There has been recent reports that a duo claims to have found the whereabouts of the train and demand that they gain the 10% finder's fee. Officials have confirmed that a military train has been discovered in Walbachek, which is near Poland's border with the Czech Republic, but they have not investigated further yet. Ready to storm into Poland and look for that train? Number 2. The Sunken Spanish Treasure Fleet, Florida, USA In 1712, Spain had just finished its War of Succession, which meant they were kind of light on funds. Luckily, they had yet to loot all the riches from their colonies in the New World, so in 1715, they assembled 11 galleon and galley-class ships containing pearls, emeralds, gold, and silver to transfer wealth from Cuba to Spain. It was one of the biggest treasure fleets ever, which are estimated to be worth about 2 billion by today's standards. The ships left Cuba just before hurricane season in the hope of deterring pirates. It worked, but a few days later a storm sank all 11 ships, sending thousands of sailors and tons of treasure to the bottom of the sea. Seven of the ships have been located, but only a small percentage of the bounty has been recovered. The one ship that has yet to be found is the San Miguel, the ship that experts believe contains most of the treasure. But where is it? Well, most of the ships that have been found have been located off the eastern shores of Florida, although some of the ships may have made it farther out to sea before sinking. Number 1. Treasure of the Knights Templar The Knights Templar were a religious order of warrior monks formed in 1114 AD to lead the Crusades and reconquer the Holy Land. Over the course of doing so, they gathered immense riches and became very powerful. Two centuries after their formation, the Pope accused them of heresy and ordered the rest of all Knights Templar. Those that managed to escape gathered their riches and disappeared into history. Legend has it they escaped to Scotland where sympathizers helped them hide their treasure under a chapel. When the New World was discovered, the descendants fled to Nova Scotia in Canada. Marks on old maps as well as graves in Eastern Canada and New England show symbols from the Knights Templar, lending credence to this legend. 
A mysterious pit in Canada on Oak Island was discovered in 1795. Right under the surface were several flagstones. Under those, every 10 feet, were logs, as well as charcoal, coconut fiber, and putty. According to one written account, a stone was discovered with strange symbols, and another told of a tunnel 100 feet down. However, the mysterious Oak Island pit now floods up to the 30-foot level any time an excavation is attempted. No one knows what lies at the bottom. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.